Ports, insurance claims, medical bills. If you've ever had a car crash, all of that probably sounds familiar. So in all the confusion, who do you pick to fix your car? Only on RTV6, Good Morning Indian anchor Beth Vaughn gets some answers from Angie's List. Carrie Neal didn't think a trip to the ballpark would end up in a visit to the body shop. I'm not the best driver in the world, so at first I was like, Oh no, did I, have I done something? Neil found the dent after her daughter's softball game. She thinks the car parked in front of her is to blame. Her insurance company gave her a list of recommended auto body shops. But Angie's List says there's no law requiring you to use a company on that list. Neil picked Passwater's auto specialist in Broad Ripple. Sometimes the damage is hidden. Sometimes it's a lot worse than what we see on the surface. I've had cars come in here with looks like a dent and we total the car. Shop owner Bruce Kelly says you should always check a okay. shop's certifications and, and if they have liability insurance. And don't forget to ask how long the repair will take. A lot of people have an expectation of repair. Things go wrong, parts have to be ordered, sometimes it's the wrong part. So we try to communicate with the folks over the period of the repair, but it's important to ask at the beginning for an expectation. Things change, but at least you have an idea. And finally, ask what kind of warranty sticks around after the work is done. An auto body shop, whether it's one you're paying for out of pocket or one your insurance is paying for, should offer a lifetime warranty on repairs, and if they don't, you should find another one. Angie's List says you should also ask if the shop installs salvaged parts to save money. Many experts say original factory parts can be better for your car and are often recommended by the manufacturer. Beth Vaughn, RTV6.